This is where I want you to be. I still don't get so many things, honestly. I don't understand your excitement. I don't get it, honestly. We well, thank God for making this right choice. We can't say it's the right choice yet because I still don't understand how things are working. God is good. God led us here. Can't you hear how the man of God was talking? How he went to Dubai, Canada? Eh? He was highlighting it's just different flashy, things. flashy things. We can't just hold on to that yet. Ah. Let's just believe God for the best. My God! I'm just surrendering myself to the hands of God, honestly. <laughs> That's the way I'm feeling. This God is... It was wonderful today. The, the office was bam, beautiful. That is the place I want you to be. That is not normal. What is not normal? Sweetie, what happened in that office today? I don't think it is normal. Why will you spend 45 minutes with a man of God? And the only line of discussion was the fact that he's been to Dubai, he's been to Japan, he's traveled all over the world. Nothing to encourage you and motivate your spirit man to go and do the work of God with excitement. Without really saying anything about Christ and what Christ came to do for us. I had high expectations. I was thinking I was going to get inspirational messages that will motivate us in the work of the ministry as we go out winning souls. I may be disappointed. Honestly. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And if all we can get are lectures around designer labels, the football club that we support, and the kind of car that we love to drive, then what do we expect going forward? I didn't say anything wrong in all that the man said today. This was just our first meeting, and he was just trying to familiarize himself with us. So that, that is it. That is just it. Nothing was wrong in everything he said. 
Maybe I was expecting too much. Maybe I was just... Maybe, maybe. But let's wait and see. That's all I can say. The patient dog always eats the best one. Adams, I give up. Yeah. Let me go and change. And fix something for the man of God. The man of God is hungry. I am hungry indeed. Let's go and fix And I won't lie about this. <laughs> Whatever you can fix, <laughs> fix. Please. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> My dear, hey. this is one of my many businesses. Hey. Yeah, just take a look. Wow. You are welcome to my city. Wow. Of course, it's a land flowing with milk and honey. I can testify already. Eh? Wow. I'm glad ah. <laughs> Lola! I forgot something in my office. Never mind, let's go. I'll show you around. Right wow. You need to get connected to the right people. Wow. That is what matters hmm. in this city. Let's go. Ah, Lola. You can't, you can't get it wrong in this city. Eh? I'm it's, it looks so beautiful. Very nice. Wow. I'll put it in my account, accounting office as well. After you. Oh, thank you. Ah, Lola, Lola. Hey. I want to show you the accounting department. Hey. Oh God. Oh God. There you go. So, this is the account department. I was told my accountant has gone for his lunch. Wow. But they do the accounting for mega churches. Wow. They are very busy. Wow. You will get there someday. Amen. And they will take care of your accounting and audits. Hey, wow. <laughs> so, this is also our server room. We provide lots of cloud services to big churches. Don't worry, one day your church will get to that level. Wow. And we will get connected with you as well. Lola, Lola, my friend. You will get there. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Wow. Yeah. And this place? Oh, that's where our printing office is. Wow. They are quite busy. We print for mega churches. We are connected to the mindset. And we do their printing, uh, printing for their calendars. We do their cards as well. Cool. We do everything connected to printing. Lola. It's a moving business. You can't go wrong with that as well. <laughs> Lola, my friend. Wow. No preparation for what we're going to hit tonight. I'm beginning not to understand how she's just behaving like this days. What can be responsible for all this? This is strange. Here she comes. Ewa, why all this now? Why are you doing this? Oh, Is your phone no longer working? Oh, wow. I tried calling you several years ago. You are not taking my calls. 
And you didn't attend the Bible study. I was on the lookout for you throughout the Bible study. I'm so sorry. Before I could leave Verlena's place today, it was 5.30 p.m. You know what? I told Lola. When you, the Bible study started at 6? I told her. But she insisted that she was going to introduce me to other women of God. So... Hey, wow. We need to understand the priorities that we we should have as children of God. Mm -hmm. What kind of example are you setting for workers in the church? Oh, what kind of pattern will this be forming before people who are newcomers, who are just beginning to understand the gospel? Anyone who doesn't respect your time doesn't respect you. And anyone who doesn't respect you may not respect the Spirit of God in you. Say a man is never greater than his prayer life. When did we become organizers instead of agonizing in prayer? We are now battling with many fears because there is no tears. I'm bothered with fashion. My wife is bothered with fashion, but little or no passion. Ah! In this place where we have failed, I hope we have not failed everywhere. Ah. Bishop, bless you, sir. Ah, we are both fine. We are all fine. Yes, the family, we are all doing good. And the church is also doing well. Thank you. I was told you informed the secretary that we can only get the communion from the central office. Ah. Sir, this is all new to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not used to this. I, thought... I was thinking we should be able to buy this off the shelf from any Christian center. from Jerusalem. This is just very new to me. And they will be able to get the supplies in before we need it. Okay, it is well, sir. My regards to mommy and uh, the rest of uh, the family. Thank you. Bye, sir. Wow. We actually touched her up. Hey! Ah. I trust you. Yeah. She is a big fish now in Kenya, you know? Wow. 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 When she talks, it happens. Quick. Just like that. That is it. Oh. Yeah. This is what I'm telling you about. This? <laughs> it is nothing compared to what some of the members in the group get. Hmm? Yes. Wow. <laughs> it all depends on how you settle well within the group. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> My dear, you are welcome to paradise. Ah, <laughs> we have it, money talks. <laughs> it is paradise indeed. <laughs> Lola, when are you introducing me to the metro? The metro? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll give you a call before our next meeting. Trust me, if I didn't hear from you, you will see me in your house. It's a promise. 
Sure. Trust me. Thank you sure. take care now. Nah. Too. too much, Lola. Catch up later. to be in Nori because I have to get to the train station in the next, uh, I think, next 20 minutes. So... Yeah, just, just give me a few minutes to prepare. What are you preparing for me today? It's just uh, rice. Rice? Yes. I think you should have a beans inside. Okay, okay, I'll try. Um, yesterday, there was something I left on the table in the office, so I want to be there on time. My dear. A lot of things is going on in our church. What? Hey. You won't believe it, my what? dear. What happened? Last time the pastor missus was preaching in the church, my dear, pastor missus, when she was pray, uh, preaching. You scared me. What's what was going on? I don't understand. If you see what the pastor missus was saying, about the designer shoes, designer bag, even everybody in the church was saying it that why mommy is saying all this thing in the summer at this end time. <sighs> Maria, you know what? I don't want you to be a part of the people that are gossiping mm -hmm. in the church. You know, the pastor misses, she's a woman being like us. This is the avenue. To remember her in our prayers. Please. Okay. So, uh, I think I'm running late now. But, what, what, can, we, what can we do now? To, because people it, are saying. I things. understand you. You know what? While I come back, we'll talk about dress, please. I'm okay. getting late. Okay. Hmm. We're not listening. Eh? We're not listening at all. People are saying a lot of things. Something is not looking right here. Why did the matron ask me to mentor 77 women within a stipulated time? Why? And why that specific number? This idea really bothers me. How does this mission Align with the scripture. Do mm -hmm. the, the Bible says we should go and make disciples of all nations. But something is just weird with this assignment. Raising 77 women within a specific time. Something is strange. Oh God, help me. I hope I'm not leading myself into a dark alley. Hmm. I know what I will do. I will discuss with Lola and hear of you. Yes, I will discuss with her. <sighs> Thank you so much for this sumptuous meal. Oh, you're welcome. The doctor mentioned. And then, uh, that reminds me. How would I get 77 women to meet? 
My friend, come over to the other side. Let us talk. <laughs> come on, Ewa. Seventy-seven menses. Mm. It's as easy as pie. Mm. <laughs> we just need to organize a women's conference. Yes, we organize women's conference. I don't have fund for that. <laughs> you make me laugh. Forget about the funds. We will fund it. Yes, publicity. We print and bills on all our social media platforms. We will ensure that the program is there as well. Huh. It's our responsibility. Hmm. Oh, Lola. I don't know anybody to invite. Ah, that is. I mean, we have women that we know in the in the group. Women that their names speaks in the society. We'll invite them for the conference. Ah, brother. And for the honorarium. Don't worry. <laughs> we will give you money for the honorarium. Eh? Yes. I mean, what are friends for? We are all in this together. Oh. Ah, oh, Lola. <laughs> this is too good to believe. Ah, you better believe it. Better believe it. We we'll also buy gifts for the women coming for the program. So they don't need to give offering. Yeah. Does the Bible not say we should love one another? Yeah. Ah. No. So this is no. nothing. It's not a big sacrifice. They are coming for us to impart their lives. They are coming to be blessed. We we'll give to them. They don't need to give to us. We don't need their money. We want to impact their lives. We want to sow into their lives. So we give them gifts, let them come take and go. Eh? Yes. That is so strange. Hmm. What is strange about it? That we are helping one another. Does the Bible not say we should love one another? I mean, we should be there for ourselves. What are Christians for? I'm telling you, after this conference, your ministry will Bro, amen. It will be what spoken of. Amen. It will be enlarged. Amen. It will be protected. Ah, amen. <laughs> you will begin to get missionaries. Amen. You know, ah. you begin to plant churches north, south, east, and west of this city. Amen. Ah. What else do you need? Nala, you are a friend indeed. Friend, God don't bless worry. you. I'm ah. always here for you. I'm here to sow into your life as someone sowed into my life. Amen. Ah. But there's one thing that is key. Don't forget about the 77 women that you need to anoint them. So how you will do it is up to you. Um, I'll get the anointing on. I'll I have one. I'll give it to you. I'll give ah. you. Everything is, is, is all package. You don't need to stress yourself, my ah. dear. Oh. Thank you, Lala. Yeah, let's ah. not forget. I mean, your fingers don't need to be bare. I got this for you. Me? Yes, a golden wow. ring. Ah. Wow. Just put it on. Make sure you use it for the women's conference when you're ministering. Wow. I mean, people will come there. They look at you. You are pleasing to them in their eyes. And before you know what is happening, hmm, the church is growing. Thank you so much, Lola. It's nothing to thank me for. Yes, you can have that. Wow. At least I'm happy you are happy. I'm so glad. I'm happy I know you. I'm happy I can sow into your life. Oh, and into your ministry. Oh, God bless you. <laughs>
what's this sister? Um, Sister Tina. Um, oh, she said she's been trying to get through to you. She has called you several times. Oh. She said she has rang you severally. She's been trying to get hold of you. And she said it was really a pressing issue, you know? It was an urgent one. That sister. The last time I had a meeting with her, she told me how she moved from one place to another. One church, deliverance, the deliverance over tropical ancestral demons, deliverance over mountains, over all those kind of things. There is a fundamental problem with that sister. Well, she, she, she told me really that she has been to several churches, but you won't believe it. She doesn't have the understanding, you know, what it takes to be a Christian. She has been attending so many churches, but yet she's not born again. Oh, but well, the good news is this, we were able to take her through the process. She Hallelujah. confessed her sin, oh, she praise confessed God. her sin, she accepted Christ as a personal Lord and praise Savior. God. Now that she's delivered, you know, she now understands that she has the power to be called the child of God. Mm. And in fact, she won't believe it, Ma. She said she wants to join the intercessory meeting team. Glad, I'm glad for you, I'm really glad. This will really help her also to be able to pray against all issues attacking her. Yeah. Yeah, Instead of moving from one place to another. Yeah, we'll Congratulations, my dear. Thank Congratulations. Bless God, now. We turn our glory back to Hallelujah. Yes. And that reminds me, on Saturday, I will not be available for the intercessory meeting. So you hang call that from beginning oh, yes, to the end. That's not a problem. Oh, God bless you. you so yeah. Good afternoon, Pastor. Ah, uh, Bro Larry, how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm good. How's the family? Fine. Are you ready? No, Pastor. Uh, why not? Uh, Pastor, this we should put everything on hold now. Uh, you should put everything on hold? Oh, no. Why would she say that? Because of the women's conference that is coming up. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Why would she do that? My wife said you should put everything on hold? Yes, Pastor. Why is this woman doing this? Okay, you can go, bro, Larry. Right, you can go. Thank you. Regards to your wife. All right, thank you. Okay, then. It is well. Mm, it is well.
preparation <laughs> of Valentine like oh meal for dinner. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not joking. Oh no. I can't remember the last time we did this. Uh oh. Yes. God. It's a long time ago. <laughs> so what on earth made you to prepare such is some t- some toss meal like this? Nothing really. I'm just trying to make an effort to so spice up our mind. That sounds good. Yeah. I noticed we've not been spending quality time together, so why not put this together for us? That's what I just did. That's that's quite good. No, I'm not I'm not, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Is there something I need to know? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Come on, let's just sit. Let's sit. Okay, let's pray, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Father in heaven, thank you because you first loved us, yes, Lord. even before we realized. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for our home. Thank mm-hmm. you for what you've been doing in this marriage. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless and sanctify this food. Mm-hmm. Let it nourish our body. Provide for all those who are in need today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tastes very nice as well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, that's good. That's good. That reminds me. Um, tomorrow I'll be taking our car, a gift car, out for a wash. You said what? I told you I don't agree with that car gift. Mm-hmm. That car, the way it came, my spirit doesn't agree with it. Honestly, the whole idea of you getting a gift from a group you don't know before. So I don't consider that car as a family car. Okay, I, I know I've been a bit uh, negative about the bank, but for, for how long do I do this anyway? Okay, if... I don't want to make a search. I'm not trying to make you sad. But what can we do? If it's a gift, it's a gift at the end of the day. I can't believe it. That the woman from Kenya, when she was celebrating her birthday, the whole group gathered together and they gave her a card. Just to make the work of the ministry easier for her. Honey, listen to yourself. Why on earth will you compare yourself with a lady from Kenya? Are you from Kenya? Are you not different? The Bible says those who compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. We can't put ourselves in the position of other people's destiny. Where you are going is different from where they are going. Your destiny is different from the destiny of somebody from Kenya. Please, we should watch our association. Because it determines our destination. So please, let's be more watchful in this time and in this age. That's all I can say. That's true, that's true. Ah, well, on a lighter note, you can't believe it. You remember that woman that was interviewed on CNN and also on BBC a month ago? You mean the woman from Cincinnati? Exactly. The woman yes. is God. She is the one coming for she's coming as a guest minister for the women conference. Ah, really? Yes. <laughs> Where are you getting all these high profile women from anyway, if I may ask? It's not like not me. She's the one that is connected to all of them. Apparently, that woman is part of she is a part of the glorious women group. One of the high profiled lady. And I never met her before. 
So Lola just said, she's not coming. She sent me an email a few days ago that we should check her, da 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 da, and the secretary will contact her. Well, just like that. It is well. I just hope to be very watchful, you know, in these coming days. Uh, the reason why I'm saying this is because hmm, there is. It, I had a dream a couple of days ago, and in, in that dream, I was really, really trembling. Somebody who was chasing the two of us. And I couldn't really, if I could, gather strength to do something about it. I woke up. I don't know this. I don't know what it's all about. So I want us to be more watchful and prayerful. Mm. Honestly. That's, that, that, that's that will not be our portion. Any power that wants to chase us, Bible says they will stumble and they will fall. The angel of God will pursue them. So they will be. They will stumble, they will never rise again. In Jesus' name. No power will pursue us. I need to go to bed early tonight. Because I need to catch a plane tomorrow. As you know. Mm. Mm, that's true. That's true. Um, so can you go with the with the with the our car? Mm. Um, um, no, 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 let's not start that, honestly. I don't mind taking a taxi. Even though I don't have any problems with the vehicle anymore. But let me just take the taxi anyway. I'll take a taxi, the world. You don't need to stretch yourself, man. No? I'll use the family car. And you can go with them. So okay, no okay, no worries. At least we are still in the mood of is it Valentine or not we call it. So don't worry, I'll take the car. Oh you're going. What all this now? Hey, eh? Mabi, why are you stutter everywhere now? See, why do you put all this thing here now? Waiting. Ah, I've been telling you, don't mess up this kitchen. Eh? What are you doing? You have, you have been watching since how many hours? Eh? See the way you put everything. You put this one right here. Put, oh my God. Jesus what Christ. Happened? What happened? Because of uh, I'm washing the plate. See now, I have to put it somewhere before I pack it. Oh, when you're washing the plate, you don't need to mess up the whole building. You don't need to mess up the whole building. Calm down. Mr. I've been trying to reach you all this while and I've not been able to. 
I'm so, so, so sorry. We couldn't make it the last time. How are you doing? I, I hear that you have left your, your, your mission posting station and you've gone to another place. I'm so sorry. It wasn't intentional. My brother, this is not where the Lord asked you to be. Why are you in a different station? Why have you left God's um, place for you? And you've gone to where the Lord has not sent you. You and your wife. That is not right. Why do you leave God's primary assignment? And where God has posted you to, to go to another place. Hmm. It's quite interesting because no wonder you have not made contact with me at all. The meeting we normally have. Every year, you didn't attend. What's going on? Yeah, our hands were tied. We had so many programs going on at our hand. I hope you are reflecting on all this because the way you are going. I hope you will not turn out to be like Jonah, who left his place of primary assignment. He was meant to go to Nimivi and he went to Tashish. Why, why are you doing this? This is the path of destruction. This is the path that seems there is a way that seems right unto a man. The end of it is destruction. When you leave where God has called you and you go to a place where God has not called you. Okay, sir. I need to, I need to go there. Oh, you have to leave. Okay. No problem. I will, my prayer basically for you is that the lord's hand and mercy will follow you and that you will turn back from this disobedience and turn to god i will leave you for now my regards to your wife i'm praying that you will retrace back your steps bye We need to discuss this issue. This matter is more important. Okay, thank you. Have your seat. Okay. So, Sister Maria. Yes, Pastor. What happened last weekend? <sighs> Pastor, thank you, sir. Who is this man? This man. I don't understand him anymore. I didn't even understand him anymore. I don't know what's going wrong. I don't know. I don't understand. He is the cause of every trouble in this family. He is the one. Um, go upstairs, yeah? Follow your brother, upstairs. It's not a matter of uh, children now. This adult discussion, yeah? Go upstairs, everybody, go upstairs. Brother Larry. Pastor. What's this all about? Pastor. Yes. I don't understand this woman again. I'm fed up. She has been acting and acting badly in this house. Brother Larry, Sister Maria. One thing I need you to understand is that nothing just happens. There, there is always a reason behind everything. If the devil is pulling trouble in your home, you may not... Understand it, except you are looking at things from a spiritual perspective. I want you to take a close look at issues in your home, beyond the physical. Before one person complains, somewhere is not clean, another place is not clean. 
Satan can just be planning to foment evil in your home. And you must see it beyond the ordinary. Ephesians chapter 5 reminds us of the position of the husband. He said, husband, love your wife, even as Christ loved the church. Jesus did not just go out complaining about his disciple. He knows their frame. He knows their capability. So why are you picking on faults? If you love, you don't pick on people's faults. I love. You but need to work she together. Keep on doing the same thing. You need to work together as a team. Okay, Pastor. You cannot just go into the kitchen, you know, stopping and Sister Maria, locking your husband up, you know, as if you see. She she locked my clothes like this. Can you imagine? Because he's trying to, 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 to beat me. He's trying to beat me. And neighbors are listening. You know, they are hearing the noise. Even my children were crying. This must stop. Olari, you are to set the pace as the head of this home. You are the priest of the family. You are the one that should be blessing the family, be praying for the family, not complaining, not murmuring. And Sister Maria, you need to honor this man as we honor Christ. That is the level. Look at the way Sarah was honoring the husband. She called the husband Lord. If you know this husband as Lord and you honor him as Lord, everything will work out in this family. Show him the respect that he deserves. Let the whole world know that this is the biggest person in your life, apart from Christ. And God will help us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I mustn't hear of this again. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, sir. I want us to pray together. Father in heaven, we thank you because you are a loving Father. Thank you for, for the purpose for which you went to the cross of Calvary for this family. I command your peace into their lives, into their home, into everything that has to do with them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Every arrow of the kingdom of darkness, we send them back to sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. Arrows going against any family in the church, we pray against you right now. Go back to the kingdom of darkness in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. From this moment, we pray for joy. We pray for togetherness, Amen. that they will pray together and they will rejoice together and they will be one Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you because you've answered. Amen. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Jesus. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. It Thank is you, well. sir. It is God well. bless you, sir. I'll be going because... Now, let me bring it back so that we can go with oh, this. That's Pastor. very good of you. Thank you very much. So God bless you, sir. Good night. God bless you, sir. What shall we render on to the Lord today? Jesus, thank you. What is going on in the church now? I can see. Everything <sighs> is scattered. It's just God that can settle everything. <laughs> did you know that this uh, this conference that we did, this women conference <laughs> that we did recently, they gave people anointing that day. <laughs> My dear. After this anointing, a lot of things is happening everywhere is scattered. I know, I can see, I can see. If you see Sister Shadi, the house is out of hand now. <laughs> Even the children, they have to take the children to Nani's house. Mm -hmm. What about Sister Comfort? Sister Comfort also. In fact, since all this year they didn't have uh, children, the husband didn't see anything. But right now, as I'm talking, the, uh, the, the, the fight is, is, is just God that can say to it. <laughs> My dear, 
And I'm saying this thing, I'm saying it. People think I don't know what I'm saying. You see that conference? I don't understand though. I don't understand those people that that that, 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 that spoiled that program. I feel it. I can see. Yeah? You see? I can see. I can see. I can see. What can we do to this thing? It's just God that can resolve can all see. this mess. I can see. It's too much. I can see. It's too much, yo. Let's go home, my dear. Let's go home. Okay. Go reset to everything. Let's go home. All right, so. Let's go home. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Just look at your progress within these few months. You've done so well. I owed up to you. Oh, come on. You played your part, and I played my part. Teamwork. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. I really appreciate it. That's all right. Yeah. But all because of you. Ah, come on, what are friends for? We are friends with you. Thank you very much. Yes, lest I forget. So what about the mandate given to you? Hmm. Do you? Why that face? That will not be possible. Why? Hmm. You know, your husband is so laid back. Hmm. You're not even obliged to any dot of the instruction. Listen, Ewa, you need to have faith. Let's start with that first. You need to have faith. You need to believe that it will be possible. Come on, you're a woman. You know what to do. I know this man. That is the hardest part of this instruction I've had so far. My husband will not move an inch. Don't I forget what is attached to this mandate is to make him more influential, extremely rich, and popular. You have to put your heart into it, and it will work. Listen, the sisters won't be happy. They won't be happy. I said, this is very hard. It is just me. We've come this far. We've come this far. You can do it. <sighs> she don't want to understand. Ewa, I've been meaning to say this. I have noticed for quite some time that your spiritual commitment has changed. Your prayer life is no longer what it used to be. Please. Your quiet time is lagging behind. But you are inviting women for programs. You are conducting all kinds of seminars. What are you telling them? What are you teaching them? If you don't have a private time with God, don't try to create a public time with men. It is like a strange fire that we must avoid. Because if you offer a strange fire, it is too dangerous for us. Adams, I'm not ready to run another man's race. So please, run your own race and let me run my own race gracefully. Please. Because the people you are, the people you are calling together, they don't know your inner life. We need to tell ourselves the truth. I'm worried. I don't think this should be happening in our lives. People are looking up to us. And when you occupy a place in the heart of God, you must also live a life that agrees with the place that you are occupying. When did it come to this? Adams, please. You can, it's not good to be judgmental. Just because 
I didn't pray like you do. I didn't observe you studying the word of God. Do everything like you do. Doesn't mean I'm not in sync with the Lord. I'm seriously in deep relationship with God. You, I, my Bible is in my heart. I read it even while I have. We Bible. can't be shallow going forward. These things are manifesting in every other areas. You are getting picky about every issue in the house. You have changed. You have changed. Before we say anything, you have you you will flare up. Before we say something, you will be angry. You know, you are the one, same person complaining about some members of the church, saying, oh, you know, this one didn't greet me, that one didn't honor me. But if you have not honored God, how will men honor you? <sighs> if you have lost the position in the house of, in the presence of God, how will you take it back? If you are not honored in heaven, you can't be honored in the, on the earth. Please. Let's think deep and go back to the foundation. Please. Bible says, Thy grace is sufficient for thee. I don't like people that just judge people, other people. But me, I'm not judging you. I'm a child of God by grace. I've been saved by grace, not by works. For the fact that I don't pray like you do, I don't study the word of God like you do, spend a long time like you do, does it mean God is displeased with me? Please, let, let me run my own race. And you run your own race. We are on different race here, please. Oh, I know we are all saved by grace. But we cannot take the grace of God in vain. We run with grace. Knowing that the grace of God is sufficient, but it will push us to do better. I know what God says I am. And I don't care what men say I am. Please, don't judge me. Anyway, if you think that uh, everything is perfect, I will leave you to it. Um, <laughs> who am I to, 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 to judge another? I don't have that uh, responsibility. But I just thought that it's something that we should be able to discuss as husband and wife. It is well. I'm going out. I could sense it so strong in my spirit that since the last conference we had, things have been going wrong, especially in the lives of many of the women that came for that program. Oh God, that you, oh Lord, we pray for your refiner's fire, Lord. Let it search our hearts, everything that is not of your will, Lord, that it consume them in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh Lord, that you send your refiner's fire in the name of Jesus. Send your, let there be revival in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not of you, oh Lord, in our church, Lord, that I pray, oh Lord, that you make every case way straighten in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be revival in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray for all the leaders in the church, especially our pastor, Mrs. O Lord. I pray that you touch our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you start a new thing in the church in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> Okay, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. What can I help you? Oh, I'm not here just anyhow. I'm here to warn you. To warn me? Yes! Really? You've been misleading my wife for the past few months now. And I'm here to warn you to desist from that action. To warn if you? If you don't desist, I'm here to warn you. 
we have noticed so many things happening which are unto us. And I'm here to give you a last one. If you don't desist from your actions, you will get into the listen, trouble. Listen, of listen, man. I love the way you're ranting. I'm here to warn you that you will experience fire for fire. Fire? I will give you fire back. Me? Yes. Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? I make and make men and women here in this time. You are inviting trouble. Trouble? If I begin with you, it's going to be extraordinary. You call into my house, you start ranting, you're insulting me. Can you walk out? I have a man of God. The Bible says, talk not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. <laughs> I'm only trying to be a good neighbor here. Well, I'm trying to make the life of your wife and ministry. You are the yeah. light of those who destroy other women. House. But can I tell you that this is my house, my domain. I don't care. This is my territory. I'm here to give you a spiritual warning because I know you are not ordinary. I don't care what you're here for. But what you what you have in plan, every of those things have been folded. Now listen, and the can you is out? Alive. Can you get out? You are a child of darkness. I will call you. Are... Please get out of my house. Now. You, out. You will hear from me. To... Out. You will hear from me. Out. What rubbish. What nonsense. You come into my house and start talking rubbish. Ewa's husband. Ewa's family. I'm Have you forgotten all the things I did for you? Have you forgotten how popular I made your ministry to be? The gifts that were given to you? Oh, Ewa, come on, don't be ungrateful. Don't be ungrateful. Bye. Great power of the land. <laughs> it's me. It's me, Lola. Ah, I have come, I have come again. I want to you to say, I call you on an antenna to Hewa. She wants to cause humiliation to me. She wants to bring disgrace to me. Oh, after all I've done for her, after all the elevation, now, say Napoleon on an era now. Let him go to Hewa. She wants to put me in shape. She wants to bring this girls to me. She wants to eliminate me. She and her husband. Go! Send a polio. Cause confusion. Cause disunity. Cause disagreement with you. Go now and send your thoughts back to me. Go! 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 <laughs> Consequence of things. 